Hello and welcome to this video on how to include cases with missing values on exogenous variables in M plus when using FIML. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials related to multivariate statistical methods often related to structural equation modeling, factor analysis and path analysis. If this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel and also please hit the like button in case you like this video. So in this video, I want to show you a trick that allows you to include more cases in a multivariate analysis when you use full information, maximum likelihood estimation, and you have missing data on so-called exogenous variables, meaning on variables that are used as predictor variables in your model and not as outcome or dependent variables. And so this is something that often confuses a lot of people when they use M+, is they get error messages about missing data on X, and so meaning exogenous variables, and the fact that those cases could not be included in the analysis. And then you ask yourself, oh, what about these cases? They have data on my dependent variables, and um, why can I not include them? I lose a lot of data, so that's not something that we want. So I want to show you this issue first and then I want to show you how you can address this very easily in M plus to make sure you include all possible data in your analysis when using full information maximum likelihood estimation with missing data. In this example we're going to use a very simple bivariate regression model. I'm going to focus here on my two variables x1 and y, and so x1 is my exogenous variable in this model, or we could say a predictor variable, or independent variable, and y is my dependent variable, or endogenous variable. And so in this example we have cases with missing data on um, either x or y, and obviously I would like to include all the cases that have at least some data in my analysis. And so how can I do this? This is what I want to show you. But before I show you this, I want to illustrate what happens when you just run your normal regression model with FIML in M plus in this case. So here we have our very simple model, Y regressed on X1. And it's a linear regression model because the variables are continuous. And so that's the default in M plus, a linear regression model will be estimated where y is regressed on x1. It's a very simple model. y equals an intercept plus slope times x plus um, error. And so notice that I also included here an, a, spe a special output option that's called patterns. Patterns you can use to look at the missing data patterns under full information maximum likelihood estimation and then M plus will show you what kinds of missing data patterns you had and how many people uh, showed each pattern. We don't have to tell M plus specifically that we want to use full information maximum likelihood estimation with missing data because this is the default in M plus anyway. The only thing that's important is that if you do have missing data that you code them or at least let M plus know in which way they appear. So in this case the missing scores are coded with the numerical code 999 and so this is um, specified here in the variable command by saying missing equals all 999 and then M plus knows for any variable if I encounter this value 999 then this means it's a missing score not a valid score. Let's run this example um, regression and see what we get. You can see we get a bunch of warning messages. So let's take a look at those. The first warning message says data contains cases with missing on all variables, meaning all here, meaning both x1 and y. These cases were not included in the analysis. Number of cases with missing on all variables, 91. So obviously those are cases that simply are missing both x and y scores, so x1 and y. And this means they provide zero information, they cannot be used. So in no case could we use these cases in this model unless we had more variables in the model where these cases, these 91 people or some of them had 
uh, values on other variables that we added to our model. So in a larger model with more variables, some of these cases might be usable, but not here because they have neither data on x1 nor on y, and so they provide no information. So there's nothing we can do about this other than we could make the model larger, but we don't want to do this here. So the second warning message in the middle says, data set contains cases with missing on x variables. These cases were not included in the analysis. Number of cases with missing on x variables, 36. So this is something that bothers us because those are cases that do not have data on x1, but they do have data on y. So why could they not be included in the analysis since they do provide partial data? And so we're losing these 36 cases that we don't need to lose, really. And so this is what I want to address here in this video to show you how you can trick M plus into still using these cases in your model, in your analysis. And then the third warning message here says, data set contains cases with missing on all variables except X variables, meaning it also does contain cases that have missing on Y only, not x1. And these cases were also not included in the analysis. Number of cases with missing on all variables except x variables, 28. So we're losing another 28 cases here that we don't have to lose. So we're down to 145 observations, as you can see here. And this is not something that uh, we like. The total sample size was 300. So we're losing the 91, obviously, because they don't have any data on either of these two variables. So there's nothing we can do about this. But we don't want to lose the 36 cases that have mi missing on X only. And we don't want to lose the 28 cases that have missing on Y only. So let's go back and see how we can very easily at least add those cases here, those 64 cases that we don't need to lose. So I'm going back to the input file. And one simple thing that we can do in our model statement here is we can do, we can include a statement that refers to the x1 variance. So we can include, so to say, the x1 variance as a parameter in the model without changing the model because behind the scenes that is a parameter that plays a role anyway. And so by simply stating x1 and then semicolon, we're bringing x into the model, so to say, more as um, by so estimating this variance explicitly for x1. And this makes m plus then also include those cases with partial missingness. This is a trick that you simply have to know, and it's not obvious, and many people struggle with it, and that's why I was thinking it would be a good idea to make a video on this. So let's run this again with this simple statement here, added x1 semicolon. You could do this with other exogenous variables too. If you had more predictor variables where you had the same issue, you would also mention their variance there. So let's run this again. And now you can see two of the error messages disappeared, or those warning messages. The one that said that there are cases with missing data on all variables is still there. And there's nothing, again, there's nothing we can do about this other than we could try to make the model larger and have additional variables. But those 91 cases for the simple model, we just simply cannot use. But now we could use the additional 64 cases that were previously dropped. And you can see the number of observations went up for, from 145 to 209. So that's much better. We have a lot more data now. Uh, previously, we were losing more than 50% of cases relative to the total sample size of 300. And now we have about two thirds of the data that are there. So that's much better than losing over half. Let's go down a little bit, and then we can look at the missing data patterns to understand this a little bit better. You can see there were three different missing data patterns. There was one complete data pattern, that's the pattern number one, where we have x's here for both y and x1. This means those were cases that did have data on both y and x1. These are the ones that would be included if you used listwise deletion. So those are the 145 cases with complete data that would be used in any situation, so to say. 
And then the second pattern is the one with missing on Y, sorry, missing on X1 only. So here data is present on Y, but not on X1. And then those were the 36 cases that were previously mentioned by M+. Plus. And then the third pattern is the one where we have missing on Y only. And that were the 28 cases. And so these 28 plus these 30 six cases here for pattern number two and pattern number three. Those were the cases that were initially dropped by M+, and now they're no longer dropped simply because we included the X1 variance um, in the model statement. You can see the covariance coverage is pretty good here. We have 86.6% um, of cases that provide information to estimate the Y variance and 80, about 83% available for estimating the X1 variance and about 70% available for estimating the covariance and or correlation between Y and X1. So that's plenty of data that we have available for that and for estimating our uh, regression model. At the bottom, you get the estimates for the regression model. Um, as usual, the only difference is that now the mean of X1 is explicitly included as a parameter and the variance of X1 is inclu uh, included as a parameter. But other than that, you get your usual parameter estimates, you get the regression slope coefficient here, you get the residual variance for Y, and you get the intercept of the regression here. Sorry, this, something went wrong here, but you get the typical, the, the same parameters that you would get if you didn't include the X variance. So this is, so say, a trick to get maximum data used in FIML and use full information, maximum likelihood estimation. And I hope you found this useful and can apply it to your own analyses. If you did find this useful, pl please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also check out the description for additional resources, videos, and workshops and I'll see you next time.